Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm happy we are gathered here today, the 8th of October, 2024, one day after the Feast of Our Lady of Victory, Our Lady of the Rosary. As one of you have rightly mentioned, we're in the month of the Holy Rosary, one of the two months in the year when you have special reflections on uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary, May and October. It is significant that we are beginning this project in the month of Mary and in the month of uh, the Rosary. And Father Dominic rightly intoned for us one of the hymns of the Blessed uh, Virgin Mary popularly known as Gina. So I want to, I want to begin with a word of uh, gratitude. All of you who have come here today because you represent the entire archdiocese in various constituencies. The priests, the religious, the laity, then we have the professionals here with us. We have Ukweli Pastor Center, the staff, the administration, and the board of management of Ukweli Pastor Center. All these levels have been involved in the realization of this project. The only people who are missing here and should have been here is the Finance Council. But you'll explain because we're meeting with them next year. Because many of next week, next month, and yeah, next week, many of them come from far. It's a bit uh, complicated to call them today, and again they come back next week for the formal meeting of the Finance Council. They are very much behind this project. They are behind the brainchild of this this project we are beginning today. Thank you for giving me the confidence to begin this project. I had mentioned in the family day last year that we would begin this project before family day this year. That was our plan and everything was done according to plan. We engaged the architect, we engaged the engineer, and they got to work immediately. This model here and the artist's impression have been with us for quite some, some months. As you see this project today, everything has been done except beginning the project. Everything. All the approvals have been done by the relevant authorities, the county government, NEMA, National Construction Authority, all these things have been done thanks to our team of uh, professionals. Mr. Matasio, an engineer, are good. They have, they have gone through all these things. Nowadays, you don't just put up a building. You heard engineers say you want to make sure the building is safe for occupation when the time comes. And as we do this, this is what I'm encouraging all of us moving forward, this is the only route to take. There was a time, 50 years ago, when the priest was everything. The priest was an uh, architect, the priest was the engineer, the priest was the maternity uh, expert, the priest was the ambulance to take the mother's one to give birth to the hospital. The priest was everything. Some of these have experienced it. Like the, the group of Father George here, Father Moses. Uh, yeah, you have also experienced a bit of this. The priest was really, in the village, was everything. And it was a good thing at the time. Times have moved on. And it's good for us now to embrace specialization and professionalism. Especially if you want to do things for posterity. This center, these buildings, would not have been here 
if his grace had not engaged experts, they would have collapsed. What we see today as a query pastoral center, he engaged experts, he engaged architects, engineers to put up this center. And we must build on that as we move forward. When it comes to projects like this, it comes to fathers' houses, it comes to convents, it comes to churches, we must accept to engage professionals for posterity. This is very important and it's very fundamental. And Kisumu is not short of engineers. You know very well. Eh? Kisumu is not short of engineers. If you, in fact, if you just misbehave by throwing stones, you might knock several. You might hit several around you. Why, why can't we make use of them? This is not short of architects. Kenya is not short of architects. There are some very fine architects in this country. I myself, I have appreciated the work by professionals in my life as a bishop. I have appreciated when you engage the right people to help you attain a particular goal for the church. It might appear expensive, but think through. It might not be as expensive as going the other route, taking the other route. But it's even more, more expensive. They helped us and they helped us get all the right documentation. But behind the documentation, they got us. Things have been properly, have been properly done. To the point of even the tendering for a contractor. Everything was done. By the time you're settling on Ericom contractors, we made sure that the interests of the Archdiocese of Kisumu have been taken into consideration to avoid exposure, unnecessary exposure. With a project like this, you don't want unnecessary little things to keep crossing your path when you want to move forward. That's why it's important to engage the persons who are qualified in this particular area. And we would have begun this project actually as I had contemplated last year. But we couldn't. We're only doing it now because we had a small complication with the land, which we had to clear. This project is going to cost, cost a lot of money. And I don't see myself investing millions of shillings on land with which we're having some issues. So we had to clear that first. It took quite some time, and we are only sure that we had cleared issues of the land last month. We were sure. Issues of the, month were, of the land were now cleared. Now we can pour millions here in development. I'm now more comfortable, I'm more confident to begin this project now because the issues we had with the land we have had them now cleared. That is why we are beginning now. That's the most important thing, why we could not begin the project earlier. It's not that we had no money. It is true we had no money. <laughs> but that's not the reason why we didn't begin the project. The project would not begin because the, the land was it's very critical. And it comes to a project like this, it's good to remove all obstacles in the way, which we have done. And we thank God for it because he has really been part of what we have been doing the last few months. Stressful a bit, but uh, uh, good things don't come easy. And we comfortably today launch our project to the groundbreaking and pray that it is concluded as we contemplate it. It is our desire and it is our expectation, our planning that this project from start to finish won't take more than three years. That is really my projection. That is my projection. I pray that this doesn't take more than three years from start up to the Sauna place you had being mentioned uh, the other side. We deliberately put the sauna at the end because we know many people like sauna 
they will help us to hurry the project to go and reach the, the sauna very quickly. The sauna is right at the end and the swimming facilities. It's deliberate where you put the swimming facilities closer to the gate so that they might be used by people who are not residents in the pastoral and they don't interfere with the rest of the rest of the facility this other side. I am confident we will achieve our goal. Not because I know we will achieve, but because I know God is with us on this project. I know God is with us this project. This year, uh, the people of Kisum gave me more confidence even to begin this project because of what we, how we have moved together, how we have journeyed together, from dinary to dinary, from place to place. You have given me the confidence to start off this project. And I want to assure you that we will deliver. That I want to assure you. This we are going to deliver. It is my hope that around this time next year, the first phase of this project will be moving towards completion. It is my projection around this time next year, the first phase of the project will be moving towards uh, towards uh, completion. The contractor is here, is uh, is hearing that he has to move the speed, but don't ask me for too much money because I don't have. So I want to thank all of you most sincerely. Most sincerely. I'm also con these people who are on this project, I have met almost all of them before this project. The architect, the engineer, and Eric. So I, I believe the project is in very safe hands. Are very safe hands because we work with them on other projects as well. This project is in safe hands. They are our professional eyes on the project. They are our professional eyes on the project. Make sure that at the end of the day, the end result of what we are beginning today is as close as possible to what we are seeing in that in that model. So thank you very much. Uh, as we begin this project today, we place everything in the hands of our Mother Mary, Our Lady of Victory, yesterday. Our Lady of Victory. May we find ourselves victorious in all the plans of the Archdiocese of Kisumu for the purpose of evangelization. That is the core factor. All this is for evangelization in the Archdiocese of Kisumu. And the goodness of this project is that this is a project that will be used by all the faithful. All the faithful of Kisumu. Not only guests, but all the faithful. It's the pastor said. These halls will use them. The kitchens there will use them. The rooms will use them. And of course the swimming. Will use it. This is, a, this, is a, this is a people's project. Our project. When you move the next project, perhaps it won't be a people's project, but it will still be a project of the archdiocese of, of the soul. But this is a project that everybody is in in touch in touch with as we plan to move to the next level soon after after completing this. Now that's very important. That just is very important. Don't get don't get tired. When we begin a project like this, I am never ashamed of asking for money. Yes, you heard me very well. <laughs> when we begin a project like this, I am never ashamed of asking for money. Because I believe, I believe this. What you are going to leave behind, spend on extravagantly. What you are going to go with, spend on it, Mukonabirika. What you are going to leave behind, spend on it extravagantly. What you are going to go with, spend on it, Mukonabirika. This one, 
all of us are going to leave it behind. So we spent on it extravagantly. We need to finish this and move to another one. Don't think when we finish this, we'll rest. There's no rest for the people of God. We move from this. If this is going to cost 385 million, they are about. The next one we pray, it costs a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Something in the region of 600 million. I'm very serious about this. Looks like a joke, but I'm very serious, okay? Let us move from this. After we have rehearsed with this, we go to the next level. Thank you very much for the joke.